think they they want to feel and be part of something that is greater than themselves. I think we are now heading to a generation again where it's not only about me, it's not only about the money, it's about how I am part of something that is part a force for good. And I, th I, I think that's where we are heading now. So they expect to have a development while working. It's not only working and then in order to develop. So it has to be embraced in the workplace, I think. Again, I think it's about the, um, well, of course, there are some basics that you always, uh, it's about trust, people that you can believe in and that you can actually handle trust to and they can, so it's, it's a soft value-based skill set um, on, on the one hand and on the other hand is the um, willingness to adapt and to um, be responsible for your own uh, growth, your own intellectual growth, because we all need to study always. Mm. It's, it's a lifetime process. I think it's the, um, first of all, look at the results, but not only at the person or personalities, because leadership comes in many shapes and forms. So it's about the result of the unit or the organization that you are leading that tells you if, if it's good leadership or not. Um, but that said, I think it's about the leaders that can develop the climate that allows the people to be empowered. It's about creating the culture, the atmosphere, that you have a strong organizational brand that you are proud of being part of. And then if you can create that atmosphere, I think the substance and technicalities will come with it. If you don't have it, you can still have technicalities and substance, but then it's short life. But if you can build that, you will have a continuous um, growing organization developing itself. The, uh, the first is, of course, to be proven in battle. I, I passed the test. So, but there are so many, but to put it shortly, it's when you really have the um, task to perform under the toughest circumstances and you gain the trust of your troops and they deliver. Uh, that's when you have done that. That is something you cannot only learn in school. It's like, I think, uh, making a few good, very business deals that grows your business and, and you made it against all odds even sometimes. Then you have a proven practical leadership. It's, it's to create that climate that people feel that they are part of something that is bigger than themselves and they, are, they want and they want more. It, you, you, if you can create that, you can feel it. And that's, that's a wonderful feeling.